Hey guys, it's Kai here, and I'm going to show you how you can effectively and efficiently create equations using Microsoft Word. I'm referring, of course, to math equations, and it's really simple to type something out in Microsoft Word, but if you want to type an equation, like I want to do x squared minus y squared, um, it looks a little bit ugly here, and I have to you know, try to figure out how to write subscripts, superscripts, super complicated stuff. So if you go to the insert menu in Microsoft Word, and this is available for um, Mac and PC, you can see there's an equation builder on the right hand side. Click on that and you can type x square minus y square and it converts everything for you into a very um, lovely equation here. And of course you can always go back to the home tab and uh, resize this. Um, you can move this around as well. Let's say I want to move it to the left. Um, so it's pretty simple doing this. However, if you have something a little more complicated like a matrix or an equation involving crazy symbols, it's not so easy. So if you want to do a matrix, you have to um, press on this uh, symbol over here and try to figure out which category your matrix belongs to. So that's a 3x3 three three matrix and enter the values like that. Um, and if you want to, let me just fill that out for, for completion. Um, if you want to figure out how to input a more complicated equation, it's not as simple as that. So let's say I want to use like a huge square root symbol. Uh, you can go to the equation builder and you can figure out there's a square root here, but if I want it to cover my entire x square minus y square, or if I only want it to cover um, x square, it's not the most intuitive thing and I have to you know, try to figure out how to extend this line, um, how to add different symbols. I want to have a pi as a little uh, factor in front of my y and I need to go look for the pi symbol by clicking on this little arrow here and trying to figure out what all these little Greek symbols are. So this is very very complicated and let me show you something that's a bit easier. So if you go to the insert bar and you click on office store search for this add-in called MyScript. So MyScript is a really cool add-in that allows you to use your handwriting or use your mouse to draw an equation out and it would recognize the equation instantaneously and convert that into a nifty uh, Microsoft Word text symbol for you. So you can add this add-in into your document and it shows up on the right hand side. Click on it and let me just close everything else and now you can start writing on this pane. So first of all, I'm going to make it bigger and then I'm going to start writing on it. So I'm going to do x square minus y square and um, you can just insert that into your document pretty easily. And you know, for users who have a touch screen, so if you have a touch screen, a PC that allows you to touch on the screen, it's super simple to write anything out. Or if you have a stylus, it's going to be even easier for you. So you can just insert equations with wild abandon onto your screen here. Uh, you can delete them pretty easily as well. And if I want to have a matrix, so my matrix is y equals, let's do a 2 by 2 matrix. Um, I can write like a 3 here, I can write like a 2 here, I can write like a 1 here, and a minus 8 here. And it recognizes my handwriting pretty quickly, and I can just put that into the document. Um, let's say I have a little bit more complicated of an equation. I have um, something that looks like, like this. Square root b square minus 4ac and I know um, I'm supposed to write you know 2a below but just for simplicity or just for just for complication I'm going to put 2 pi and see if it recognizes what I have. So see it's pretty good here. So it did have some mistakes in recognizing that my square root is only for, um, it thinks it's for the entire equation even though I only want it to cover the top half of the equation. So I can always, you know, like undo everything and, and just put like a try it again by, um, sorry about that, um, you know, writing that, that line again and trying 2 pi. And this time it gets it right. So it's not 100% accurate, but it's close enough. And it's certainly better than using the built-in equation builder that we have on Microsoft Word. So that's my little tip for today. And you can get this add-in, my script, by going to the Office Store. Once again, press Insert, Store, and 
you can search for the added here. All right, so that's all for today's video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have any tips or questions, just leave them in the comments below. And thank you for watching.